Hello everyone. Today I'm going to continue where I left off. So, so by the end of the tutorial, what you should be able to get is you should be able to get a green rectangle around the places or the locations where there are there is a high matches between the source input and the template input. Okay, so from here we need to get the template input W or it means width. So the width of the template input is template input dot shape bracket zero. On the other hand, the template input H or the height is the template underscore input dot shape square bracket one. So next you need to define the line color. So it goes by blue, green, red. And let me show you. Let's say I want the rectangle to be blue. I can change it to 255 and you will have blue rectangle. So next, let the line type equals to cv.line underscore 4. So for lock in locations, our locations are those areas in the input source whereby there is a high match between the, the template input and the source input. So for example, this image which is taken up from this detected point, this is the template input and this is actually the source input. So for our case, this is the template input and this is the source input. The take temp template input is taken from the source input. The location itself is located actually at the top left hand corner of the template input. So with that, we will need to find out why is our bottom right so that we can do a cv.rectangle. So bottom right refers to the bottom right hand side of the template input. As mentioned in the previous tutorial, the template input will move pixel by pixel one by one from left to right and up to down to find, the, to find a good match between the template input and the source input. So the locations that we have found actually refers to the X and Y that we gotten. It's actually the top left hand corner of this square or this rectangle. I found this, I found the, found the examples given in this picture best describe how we look at cvdo.rectangle. This image, this is the source input and then you have the x1, y1, which refers to the top left hand corner cv2 dot rectangle. So our x1 and y1 will refers to the location. And then we will have to write down the x2, y2, which will refers to the bottom right hand corner. So looking back at the top left actually has the x and y axis of the lo locations and the bottom right refers to the this and this so our line color will be 0 comma 255 comma 0 and our line type will be cv dot line underscore 4 so next we will use cv dot im show bracket this will be the name of the window so we will call it matches and next we have to put in cv dot weight key and in the end, we'll get this because we haven't defined our group rectangle yet. So I will comment it first. So change it from 255 to 0, 0, 255. But basically, we, what we will get is this. And yes. So this is about the end of the tutorial. If you have, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a questions in the comment section below. If not, thank you for watching and see you next time.